Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's YBC9 back for a video, and in this video, I'm going to be bringing to you guys a gameplay with the brand new Pink Diamond Throwback Playoff Moments, Victor Oladipo. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to now the third upload that we are posting today. So, with that being said, if you guys are new and you guys do enjoy, make sure you guys consider hitting that subscribe button because right now we are on this road and grind to 40,000 subscribers. So, help us achieve that goal today. And also, dropping a like on the video would be greatly appreciated as well. Let's see if we can hit 500 likes on this video so let's dive into it on the screen in front of us today we have this brand new 96 overall Victor Oladipo I did buy him for a hundred thousand MT it might have been a little snipe I don't know yet but right now Oladipo is going for slightly more than 100k I feel like his price will go lower today but I sniped him at like 1 p.m. for 100k and I thought that was a W so I figured hey I sniped him so why not get a gameplay First things first though guys, let's take a look at his badges and attributes he, as he is a 6'4 shooting guard with 9 Hall of Fame badges including chase down artist, pickpocket, midrange deadeye, pick dodger, defensive stopper, lenis finisher, difficult shots, posterizer, lob city finisher, and that rounds off the 9 Hall of Fames and 10 golds which are catch and shoot, one man fast break, corner specialist, Tyler score, charge card, acrobat, limitless range, deep range deadeye, lob city passer, and pick and roll maestro. Take a look at the attributes for this man. He comes with a 94 driving and standing layup, a 95 open mid range, a 92 open shot three, 90 free throw, 95 driving, and 95 contact dunk. 86 ball control, which means he's gonna be able to speed boost, 85 passing accuracy, 95 shot contest, 97 steal, 54 offensive, but 79 defensive rebound, which is really, really good. 90 speed, 88 speed with ball, 90 acceleration, 95 stamina, 97 lateral quickness, 95 defensive consistency, 98 offensive consistency, and 84 reaction time. Not only offensively does he look like a stud, but defensively as well, he looks amazing. So now, without further ado, let's hop into some gameplay. My opponent has a really good team, full of a lot of pink diamonds, and okay, he's starting off this game with the dunk from Stephen Curry. That's an interesting way to start off. Usually, Curry does, does not dunk the ball that often, but... We do have a matchup of Brandon Roy against my Victor Oladipo. So let's go to work right here. We're going all the way with our Oladipo. And getting a jam right back. Let's go to work again right here. That's, that's a nice crossover move. And the paint's open. And we're jamming it again. Manu Bull, you better get out that paint, big boy. Because I'm coming for you. I'm going to dunk on you. Good defense. That's a red contest on LeBron. I don't know how it's a red contest, but we will take it. Oladipo's out on the break. Stop it and pop it in. Greening on that fast break. Let's go, Victor Oladipo. And he's coming out with an inbound steal. We're going to take a fading mid-range because it is open. And he's rattling that one in there. And for the first time this ball game, he has his takeover badges. They are sharp shooting and shot creating. I really wish that he had slashing and sharp shooting, but he doesn't. It's all good, though. We're still going to cook up and do our thing. The good thing about sharp shooting, the great thing about sharp shooting takeover, is that you have to pressure him up and respect the three ball really well. So we could get those crossover moves and go all the way right here. Manu Bull gets dunked on. I told you, Manu Bull, you're going to get dunked on. Even though this man does not have slashing takeover, this man still dunked on Manu Bull. That's insane. Welcome to that poster, big fella. This man is literally just a walking glitch. Literally. Let's go to work again. Snatch it back on Brandon Roy. Oh, look at the snatch back. Green. Oh, my baby. All the depot is insane. And he still has more of his takeover left. This man is just cooking up on all cylinders. Where, where am I going to go? Oh, got you. Oh, that's a nice hesitation. We're going to pull up for mid-range. My um, opponent's on-ball defense is either really, really bad or Victor Oladipo is just really, really good. Give me that steal. Oh, wow, 2K. Okay, Oladipo found himself wide open on the right wing and another green light. That three-pointer is cash. He has 21 points. And we're just two minutes into this ball game. Three minutes, excuse me. We're only three minutes into this ball game. So my opponent needed a timeout. He called one. It's like he put Clyde the Glide Drexler now on Victor Oladipo, and he went to that off-ball treatment. I guess it's only a matter of time. This man, Victor Oladipo, is beasting way too much. Porzingis on the pop right here, making lightly contested three. Let's go. Okay, guys, that wasn't Clyde the Glide. That's actually Diamond Kobe Bryant with Oladipo on the break again, knocking down a lightly contested three. He now has 24 points, but that is actually Diamond Kobe Bryant. That is not... A pink diamond Clyde. I really thought it was though. Larry Bird come down with that steal. Old Debo's on a break, stopping and popping and pulling. That's probably off. Yeah, that was. It's all good though. Let's reset it for the final possession of this first quarter right here. Well, that's a nice double crossover move. We're taking the mid-range, and that's in and out. Okay, Porzingis on the board, going up with that one and getting that green light to go. 
We have a 31 point first quarter and it looks like my opponent is out of here. Wow, Old Depot, I guess, was that good, beating the off ball, making my opponent rage quit in this first quarter. Now, what we're going to do is hop into two triple threat games, and then we'll call it a video. Good defense right there from T-Mac. Let's go. Old Depot's all alone on the break, going all the way right here. And Kawhi Leonard is now on him and forced him into a contact layup. A weird animation, but we do get the points. Let's go. Old Depot trying to play open for the three on the line, and he's getting that to go. Picking up this triple threat game immediately where we left off in the unlimited one okay my opponent sent a double team his way leaving big z open attacking in the middle oh my goodness where is he jumping old depot though fading four to three on the line again and old depot splashing that three good defense oh we gotta get the boards gotta clear those boards that's really good defense again we just gotta clear the boards come on big z should be no excuse you are four inches taller than that man cons any towns we're going all the way right here with all the depot missing the dunk come on we're getting finessed right now. We are. Oh, that's a nice hesitation move on Kawhi. My opponent went to the off ball, but this man, All Depot, still converts a heavily contested layup on Kawhi. This game is not looking so good, though. We are down by three, and we can't really get a stop at all. Oh, man. And Kawhi now has lock badge. Yeah, it's looking like a GG now. Yeah, guys, looking like we're going to lose right here, even with the good defense. Doesn't matter. That's an excellent take from Kawhi Leonard. It's all good though, guys. We're gonna hop into the second game and hopefully we can take that triple threat game and win it. Let's go to work right here with Old Depot. The paint's wide open. And we get that slam dunk to go. And he comes out with that steal. Let's go. Cheesy little point right there. We'll definitely take it. Let's win this game. Come on, we're locked and we're ready to win. The paint's wide open again for Old Depot. Let's take off with the one-handed jam. I really, really wish this man had slashing and sharpshooting takeover. Or even defending and sharpshooting would be better than shot creating and sharpshooting. I don't like those takeovers. I don't like the shot creating one. I'm okay with the sharp and everything else, but I don't think sharpshooting is a good takeover at all. We have him wide open, and Old Depot's getting that three to go. He's doing his thing now. Old Depot found himself wide open in the left corner, splashing home that three with the green. We have our takeovers, and honestly, it, it's probably too early to say it, but I'm just going to say it anyways. This is probably game now that he has his takeovers. Good boy right there from Big Z, and again, we're going to give it to Old Depot. He's probably going to play me up super high, so this really should be an easy bucket. To the left baseline, always oh, sending a double team. He's helping. It's all good. Big Z open, making a splash for the green light for three. Good board right there from Oladipo. Let's kick it up to T-Mac. He found himself spotting up in a corner. Open, and that's a green. We are now one three-pointer away, and that will be the game. Oladipo, I guess, found himself open. This is really, really deep, but it goes in anyway. That was behind the half-court triple threat line. This man, Oladipo, is a beast. So that wraps up the gameplay of this video. In the Unlimited game, I believe he finished with 24 points in the first triple threat. I think he had 10, and in the... Third triple threat game, he had 15. So we, he combined for nearly 50 points in this video. I think this card is really, really good and will be very, very underrated. You guys will not see this card much in Unlimited. A lot of people aren't gonna use this card. I feel like this card is gonna be one of those cards where it's like, no one wants to use them, you know? Kind of like Pink Diamond, we'll say Hakeem Olajuwon. He is a very, very underrated center. He came out as a player of the month card about three or four months ago, around there. And that card is still a beast to this day. He is really, really good. But you don't see a lot of people using him, which makes him a very, very underrated card and, and an underlooked card. I feel like this Victor Oladipo will be the same way. He's going to be one of those cards that's really, really good, but doesn't really get the attention and is going to be one of those underlooked cards. This Victor Oladipo is great. The only flaw, not really flaw, but the only thing I see in him that should be adjusted is... His takeovers. I think it should be either sharpshooting lockdown or sharpshooting slasher. I don't agree with the shot creating one for this Vidola Depot because he does not have the normal four off dribble. If he has a normal four off dribble fade, I'd say yeah, that, that would be a great, you know, shot creating takeover for this man. But he doesn't have it. He has a very, very horrible off dribble mid, off dribble three. I don't like the shot creating takeover. I would change that. And the reason why I'm not giving him a 10 out of 10 is simply just because of the fact that his release is really, really slow for a shooting guard. His release is slow for a shooting guard and he's 6'4", so it's very, very easy to get a shot contest on him. You have to take very, very smart shots when you do use this card, but other than that, guys, this card is literally amazing. I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. So I pretty much wrapped up this video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button because we are on this road to 40,000 subscribers. Help us achieve that today. And thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all the love and support. And as usual, as always, it's YBC. I'm out.
Peace.